So we've got the vertical long spike and you can use the 108, the 116, the 308 and the 407 as standard with this spike. For the 108 and the 116 what you're going to do is you're going to use the outside fixing holes here and here. So you remove the screws from the spike. And you're going to pop those screws straight through the side holes just inside of the box. Let's say that's the same on the 116 as well as this 108. And then you're going to screw that directly to the spike itself. And there you go, nice and easy. And you can pop that straight in the ground. Um, you, you, the long gives you slightly a bit more length in terms of height if you want to clear the height a little bit more you can push this right down if you wish it's got the strength to be able to push that down now for using the 308 and the 407 what you need is the little grey excuse me the little grey bracket um, so don't throw those away because that grey bracket comes with the 308 box and it comes with the 407 so what you're going to do with the grey bracket is you're going to line it up on the back of the spike and then you're just going to take the two screws that come with the spike and screw those on through the holes on the bracket and that will line up perfectly. Now with this bracket what you're going to do is you're just going to take, push the box on and there you go, and then that can be spiked in. Now you can use SWA with this particular spike, but however, I would suggest that you look at the SWA topper in a separate video, because SWA does pull quite a bit, um, and this spike wasn't actually originally made for SWA, it was made for things like MYJ and flexes, etc. So that's the, um, let's just pop that in a little bit more. Um, so that's the um, 308, if we take the 308 off, we can fit the 407 in the same way. 407 just pushes onto this little bracket. There you go. And that's it on.